The Van Isle 360 has been running for about 10 years now. Uh, it's a race around Vancouver Island and it's done in stages. The distance around Vancouver Island is about 580 nautical miles. Uh, and this race goes in stages between different ports. We start in Nanaimo and the first leg goes up to French Creek, then on to Comox and uh, Campbell River. The sailing is, is spectacular, it's very different in different legs. Uh, it's a great crew of people that we have on this race, and not only on this boat, but with the other boats. The level of camaraderie is just incredible. Tonight here at the uh, Deepwater Fish Farm, uh, which is a great place to stay, it's really unique. Everybody's staying on the boats, and so we've got about 30 boats rafted up here to the fish farm. This is our fourth trip, uh, and one of the things I've appreciated is not only how much work goes into the salmon farming, but how much care actually goes into salmon farming and care for the environment and care for the health of the fish and ultimately care for the food supply that goes into the human food chain. So it's a great educational opportunity uh, for the sailors that have never been up here. It's a great memory uh, and reminder for people. And I think there are a lot of people that never come up to these places that have some misconceptions about what um, fish farming is really all about. And the ab availability for people to come up to a place like this is I think really spectacular and I think people can really learn a lot. So here we are, the world famous Savon Foods Van Al 360 has arrived at the fish farm in um, Chancellor uh, Channel. The farm belongs to uh, Marine Harvest Canada. Marine Harvest Canada and the BC Salmon Farmers Association have put together a fabulous uh, sit-down dinner for the entire crews and racers um, of the race and it's just a really spectacular location. It's also a pretty awesome scene. This is the only salmon farm in the entire world ever to host a fleet of uh, outright racing machines and I'm kind of interested in what motivates the uh, owners of the farm and the BC Salmon Farmers to have us there. Ian, could you come and tell us about that? Well, this is a wonderful event, Wayne. You know, we get an opportunity here to educate and talk to 250 people about what we do for a living. We'd like to thank Save On Foods and the BC Salmon Farmers for providing this opportunity. It's something we've looked forward to for the past two years and we'll look forward to for the next two. My crew's been hard at work cooking salmon all afternoon for a great uh, bunch of hungry sailors and we're quite looking forward to having a lovely dinner with them and talking to them a little bit about sustainable salmon farming in British Columbia. Very hospitable. These people are so generous to offer up their facilities and, and uh, put on the kind of a show that they do for us with all the they feed, you know, all the sitters that are here, they bring in knives and forks and plates and spoons and napkins and tables and they even provide porta potties if you're lucky. Great salmon, great people. This is my fourth race. It's uh, one of one of the best races in the world, no question about it. Now this is always a highlight. The the um, salmon farmers are so so uh, hospitable, put on a great barbecue um, in the evening. It's great to see all the salmon um, and, and where they grow up. It's, it's pretty fascinating. Fantastic. Excellent salmon. We'll come back again in two years for the 